It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 12th of May. I'm Michael Groff. A bit of a reprieve from the real scorching heat that we've had for the last several days or a week or so. However, temperatures will still just be around seasonal normals for this time of year, which means generally in the 90s. We'll see a bit of a warm up as we head into the weekend. But what about the weather for next week? Any signs of any changes coming our way or maybe rain chances out there? Let's talk about it first. Yesterday in the valley, 100 degrees was the afternoon high, 76 the morning low. The normals 93 and 68 and that record high of 110 back in 1934. OK, outside now here at 445 a.m. We've got the sun preparing to rise over the valley, which it will do in about 45 minutes or so. We're sitting at 75 degrees to start this day at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 37, humidity 25 percent. The wind from the northeast at 7, and the barometer is rising. Temperatures around the area this morning. 60 is the cool spot at Fort McDowell. 67 on Thompson Peak. 68 at Goldfield. And there's a number of spots in the upper 60s, but for the most part, uh, the valley uh, sees temperatures in the 70s right now, which is, again, a bit above average for this time of year. The upper air look this morning, we've got a trough that is moseying its way toward the Pacific Northwest coast. It's flattening out our ridge. It's giving us more of a southwesterly flow, and that will lead to slightly cooler conditions as we go through the next few days. On the watch warning map, we've got some red flag warnings out here in the west, including the Mojave Desert, some wind advisories for parts of Southern California as well. Meanwhile, the other side of the coin, freeze warnings from Southern Minnesota and Wisconsin eastward through the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, the Northeast. Yesterday, the afternoon high in Rochester, New York was 42 degrees. It was just 55 in Minneapolis. Meanwhile, Fairbanks, Alaska was 80 degrees yesterday afternoon. Incredible. Convective outlook for today, a few marginal risk zones, parts of northeast Wyoming and sections of Texas. And the precipitation outlook for the next seven days, no rain in the valley, nothing statewide, not much to speak of region-wide because, well, we're in the heart of the dry season and the weather pattern will reflect that as we uh, check it out in more detail. We'll look at the models and see what the future might hold. Here we go to the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's a trough coming onto the west coast. The upper heights here across the southwest are coming down to more seasonal normals for this time of year. A southwesterly flow develops. Bit of a pressure gradient setting up too. So down at the surface, mostly sunny skies today, not quite as warm, and it will be breezy at times in the afternoon. Highs today in the low and middle 90s, which is about where we should be for this time of year. Tonight, clear skies. It's a fairly dry air mass, so lows will mostly drop into the upper 50s to middle 60s, which will feel pretty good. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny again, just a bit cooler still with breezy afternoons, high temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s. Same thing on Thursday, upper 80s, low 90s, mostly sunny, breezy in the afternoon, and the main storm track stays well to the north of Arizona. Friday, the trough will begin to scoot off to the east and the upper heights will come up just a little bit, so highs might sneak back into the low, maybe mid 90s or so. And then over the weekend, evidence of ridging trying to build, but mostly off to our east, the heights come up a little further, so highs will be in the mid and upper 90s for not only Saturday, but Sunday. And maybe even Monday as well, although you do note there a trough is developing off to our west and north as well. So I think eventually we're going to see another cool down here as we go to a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 19th. Now we have a trough over the Great Basin heading through the Intermountain West. Most of the energy and moisture, the dynamic support will stay to the north of us. Uh, maybe northern Arizona could catch a shower, but even that doesn't look all that likely. One thing is for sure, in that configuration, we would be cooler. High temperatures would probably fall back into the upper 80s and low 90s again. And then going out 10 days to the end of the period, this is Thursday the 21st. And that still looks like some weak troughing, negative height anomalies here over the southwest, so temperatures may be just a little bit below average. What about rainfall? Well, taking a look at the European Ensemble for the next couple of weeks doesn't look all that likely. There's 51 members there, and I believe two of them are showing some light precipitation here in Phoenix. So it doesn't look all that likely. I think we're going to stay dry for a while, as you would expect here in the month of May. Temperatures off the GFS Ensemble trend down a little bit for the next couple of days, and then we'll very slowly ramp it back up for the weekend. And high temperatures will more or less be in the 90s, overnight lows mainly in the 60s to about 70.
And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we post a brand new video, you'll be alerted. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. I thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay cool out there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday.